this is Anthony Nunez and today I'm doing an educational video about the topic of geo arbitrage. So if you're interested, make sure you hit the subscribe button and we'll get started. People commonly refer to geo arbitrage as taking advantage of one zone's perks and relocating to a different zone. Most financial people will talk about geo arbitrage in the sense that when you leave a high priced area like New York City and then relocate to a country or a state that has low cost of living and you survive off the money you made from the sale of your real estate, your savings, your investments, or you're working remotely somehow. So the working remotely is a new popular trend where a lot of people are making New York style salaries, but living in other areas where the salaries of that magnitude aren't as common. The key with this strategy is to find a place where the expenses can be relatively low. One major reason for moving is to avoid high taxes, but there are other expenses as well. However, in this video, I wanna showcase the city's advantage. In a place like New York City, even though you might have a high mortgage, every single month, if you have a $3,000 mortgage, you're probably paying $1,000 into the loan, especially early on when you start. So that's $1,000 that you'll eventually get back if your property value remains the same or increases. Another big perk to staying in the city is that the rental demand is much greater. Therefore, once you pay off the loan, your ability to get top dollar for your property increases in a place like New York City, Los Angeles or San Francisco. Lastly, why not have your cake and eat it too? A lot of people will refinance. So to give you some general numbers that get thrown out there, it's very common in the Bronx, for example, for a property to have cost 400,000 in 2011 or so. And now in 2019 for that same property to be valued at $700,000. So a savvy investor could simply refinance, pull $100,000 out, and buy their little beach condo in Florida, for example, and have their cake and eat it too. And you can go out there. And in the future, if you want to avoid taxes, you simply make sure you go out there for six months and then six months in a day. And then you come right back to New York and enjoy the beautiful aspects of New York. So you can be a winter bird, for example. This video just focused on geo arbitrage. Once again, taking advantage of the geographical components that your area has. And in a place like New York City, people are earning a lot more than other areas. The expenses are high, but if you're a property owner, you can charge top dollar for rent and the value of your property remains relatively stable compared to other geographic areas. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you provide me feedback. The video was created for educational purposes, so please consult with your local professionals for any case-by-case -case financial advice or tips.